Assalamu alaikum students hope you all are doing good this is your islamic unit and i am your teacher miss amreen today's our topic is ethics caring of parents parents care for children and look after them as they are growing up they are kind and loving towards their children and take care of their comfort and happiness it is therefore the right of the parents that their children obey them and treat them well they should care for them and be kind to them when the parents grow old allah commands us to be good to our parents the holy quran tells us to treat our parents kindly especially when they become old Therefore a good muslim child is kind to his parents and cares for them Here is the story of a boy who used to care for his parents later on he became a great man Once there was a boy his name was Shahabuddin Yahya he cared a lot of his parents he was kind and obedient to them One night his mother asked him to bring her a glass of water to drink. When Shahabuddin brought the water, he found his mother fast asleep. He did not want to disturb her sleep, so he stood by his mother's bed with the glass of water, waiting for her to wake up. After a few hours, his mother woke up. She found Shahabuddin standing beside her with the glass of water when she come to know that Shahabuddin had been standing there for a long time she was very pleased with him she blessed him and prayed to Allah to make Shahabuddin a great man when he grew up Shahabuddin became a great man of his time The moral of the story is that you should also care for your parents like Shahabuddin did. Our parents know what is good for us. Therefore, you should always listen to them and obey them. You should behave well with your parents. Never say a harsh words to them. Help your parents in their household work. Look after them in their sickness. do your best in school then your parents will be happy and pleased with you allah too will be happy and pleased with you respect for teachers and books islam has given a high position to the teacher the holy prophet peace be upon him considered a teacher to be of the same status in respect and honor as a father teachers are considered to be the builders of a nation they give knowledge and teach skills to the children you should treat your teachers with respect and honor you should sit respectfully before the teacher you should listen to him with attention you should not misbehave with your teacher islam tells the muslims to acquire education and knowledge it is compulsory upon all muslim men and women books give us knowledge about everything we should respect our books by taking good care of them we should cover our books properly we should not no- throw them around but keep them in their proper place after using them respect for elders an elder is a person who is senior in age to us islam has told us to respect our elders the holy prophet peace be upon him said he who does not respect elders is not one of us islam does not allow us to misbehave or to talk rudely to our elders 
the holy prophet peace be upon him said that only a hypocrite can insult an aged person hope you all have understood now coming towards the assignment today's assignment is question number 1 why should we obey and care our parent question number 2 What did Holy Prophet peace be upon him say about respecting our elders? Do the given assignment in your exercise book. First, you have to make a title page of final term. Then you have to make a title page of this chapter ethics, and then you have to write the assignment. Make sure your work should be neat and clean. Have a nice day.